Hi students, this is Mansi Mosley, your mentor for physics and maths. Yet another application or yet another thing because, uh, based on atmospheric refraction, that is the formation of mirages, right? Have you ever seen on a hot sunny day, you are traveling in a car and have you ever seen water all over the road? But when you actually reach this, the, the place, for example, you are driving over here, you can see what over here. But when you actually reach this place, is water actually there in reality? No, it is just a illusion, right? So this illusion of what we see, which is actually not there, is called as a mirage. Mirages are normally seen on hot places at hot places in hot summer season and it is very common in deserts right so in deserts normally you have must have heard a lot of stories wherein um, people in deserts have to travel a lot right in sand and sand and it's very hot no water nothing so people start getting illusions like oh there's water over there there's water over there so basically what is happening even this phenomena is because of atmospheric refraction but to a local level this is atmospheric refraction at local level not in the atmosphere in the space right now consider this is sun over here this is the sun these are the light rays this is the palm trees over here these are the light rays which is coming straight away from the sun now we know this is a desert desert is very very hot this is the sand layer of the sand and sand gets very hot right now the first layer of air which is in contact with the sand is very high in temperature it is very high in temperature right the layer above this is a little less above this is a lit again a little less so the temperature goes on decreasing like this temperature increases right so when we know when temperature increases what happens to the density of the air the air becomes more light right when temperature of the air increases so density decreases and as density decreases the atmospheric or you can say the refractive index also decreases right so each and every layer of air has a different refractive index because the temperature of the layer of the air is also different because of the difference in temperature there is difference in optical densities and because optical densities are different refractive indexes are also different right so when the light ray hits this tree over here it reflects it comes back to this layer. This is the point of incidence. Now, this is a cooler air, this is a cold air, and this is a very hot air. Obviously, the cold air will be a more optically denser medium, and the hot air will be a rarer medium. Right? So as we go down, light ray is traveling from denser to rarer. So when it travels from denser to rarer, it goes away from the normal, right? So it reaches like this. Going away from the normal. Again, again more away from the normal. Again. Okay. At the point, the angle is so large that it sort of grazes the interface that means what are we talking about here we are talking about total internal reflection yes see this is what what is happening now see if you observe over here light ray is bending away from the normal away from the at one point what will happen all the light ray so at one point the angle of incidence becomes so large that the refracted angle 
is 90 degree it goes beyond 90 degrees so it it goes the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so over here total internal reflection takes place so when total internal reflection takes place what is this so this entire image of the tree which we see here can be seen over here let's see see so this is the way in this way for example you are standing over here Right? You are sitting on the camel, you are standing over here. So in this way, the light ray is reaching you. So when the light ray reaches you, we know, we have seen it so many times, light, human beings cannot perceive the light ray as bended. We always have to perceive it as a straight way. So if light ray is reaching us like this, we will perceive it like this itself. That means down in a straight line. So what are these light rays? These light rays are coming from the tree. And this is totally internally reflected, reaching us like this. And then we perceive it in a straight way. That means the image of this tree is seen behind. This is the image of the tree. In the same way, the image of the clouds, the sky is observed at down so when the image of the sky is observed down this entire thing which is there and the sand this will appear very watery why watery because basically this is the image of the sky okay so that's why many people who go in the desert see illusions as there's some water body very far away from them but when you go to that place there's nothing right so this is the way Mirages form. So this is basically a mirage. See. Right? This is the way you are standing. The light ray is coming to you in a bended form. So when it comes to you in a bended form, it gets totally internally reflected. You are over here. This is reaching you like this and then you perceive it in a straight way and you perceive it like this. Okay? So this is the way mirages are formed again this is atmospheric refraction at a local level naturally happening naturally now for mirage to form we know total internal reflection is very necessary and we have two criterias or two conditions for mirages to form number one the ray of light should always go from a denser medium to a rarer medium. We know the ray of light up above, and this is cooler, so this is a denser medium. The air which is in contact with the sand is very hot, so hence it is a rarer medium. So obviously the ray of light are going from a denser medium to a rarer medium. So denser to rarer will be one condition. And another condition, your angle of incidence should be greater than the critical angle. So as there are different layers of air and as the light ray goes from denser to rarer medium, it goes on increasing the angle of incidence. So it, as it goes on increasing the angle of incidence, at some point your angle of incidence becomes greater than the critical angle. So hence, after this, what is going to happen? Total internal reflection, TIR, is going to happen. Right, so your angle of incidence greater than the critical angle. Understood? This is the way mirage is formed. Again, one of a beautiful example of a mirage. If you see this, see this is this is the image of the tree which is formed, and this watery appearance. So if you see it from far behind, you will observe, you will um, just perceive that oh, there is one land of water in which trees are there. But basically, when you go to this place, nothing will be there. Only sand will be there. So this watery appearance is basically the image of the sky on the sand. And this is the image of the tree which is far behind it. Right? So this is the way mirages are formed. Hope you enjoyed the entire phenomena of atmospheric refraction and the natural phenomena which is going with it. Right? See you soon again with one more interesting topic from Light Chapter. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.